Hey, dorks. I'm here now. And I've changed a lot of things. <laughs> uh, yeah, hi. Hopefully everything is 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 cool. Um, there's there's a thing missing, and it's down here now. My microphone is a fancy new arm. It's all hidden. You can't see any of it. You can barely see the microphone. Probably even like it's probably a little too far away. So I'm gonna it's gonna take me a minute to get used to get used to this, but but like look, I can I can lean I can lean forward and put the microphone over here. And everything's fine, probably. Or I can lean all the way back and I could do like something like this, probably something like that. Probably fine. Hopefully, probably better than before. Almost certain. Um, of course, now it's all. <laughs> Got everything perfect, and then I just messed with it. Here we go. There. That's probably fine. Um. Yeah. Ah. How are you? Um. I just spent the last two, two and a half hours with cable management and stuff. So I'm in a good mood. <laughs> All sweaty from being under my desk and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. I think I think this is an improvement. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna have to like force someone to give me feedback on how it sounds. Uh, but anyway, we're here to play Dwarf Fortress. Bam. Look at that. It's already open and everything. Um, I was just fiddling with our, our statuary again, just a little bit. Um, it's mostly good to go. Like, we're only missing... Uh, there's only two that are being kind of weird. And then there's a couple that we still need to... Like, they're new. There's a couple statues that we should commission. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Do uh yeah three three new forgotten beasts um one of whom is still alive right let's actually check what's going on here uh oh we have a we should deal with that <laughs> we have a ghost apparently um yeah this is still here this is the fish dream Uh, how many kills do you have? I'm curious. You have 30, almost 40. One of them being the most recent Forgotten Beast. Um, didn't actually have to come here to do this, but let's do a couple of statues. I've been using our sterling silver. I wonder if the keys get through. Um, I only want one, but we're going to make this one to Akuzum. M. Yeah, uh, three-eyed iguanodont. Yeah, that's right. And then we'll do another sterling silver stat. Statue. Oh, hi. Um, the first one was Kuzum, A-K-U-S-M. I don't know how... Kuzum, Kuzum. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, but this one is going to be... Dis... Yeah, Dis of Fish Dream. <laughs> Uh, and then the last one... Two... One... And that's four for dig. And then we'll be good. Um, those three... Save that. That can go away. Yeah, hi. Um, I was, I was introducing myself to, you know, no one, but uh, 
I've done some fiddling with my my setup here. I have a new arm for the for the microphone, so it's like all hidden down here now. It's pretty great. Um, but tell me how things sound. If things don't sound good, tell me. Hey, look, Arish is playing or throwing another tantrum. Why would anything else be happening? Who are you gonna kill this time? Okay. Yeah, let me know if something sounds weird or, or off or could be better. But I think just just having it this much closer, like I ha it used to be like arm's length away. I had to be kind of generous with like the noise gates and the, the gain and whatnot, so having it this much closer, I think I can keep it more dialed in. That's assuming I know what I'm talking about, which is quite the assumption. I also hope Jezebel gets into her spot today. I, I've hopefully improved her little cat cam situation too. You really, you didn't do anything this time. You're off to eat. Okay. We'll have eight citizen kills. Goodness. Um, okay. Cool, cool. Now, we were perpetually dumping magma on the fish. That's right, so we're working here. And if memory serves, this is kind of just draining right now. So I want I want to get this to the point where I can block off this floor here. And then we can have stuff come this way when we're building a gate here. That's right. That's what we're doing. This is already connected. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping things will just drain through here and not have to go all the way down. Really hard to tell <laughs> where it's really going. These are stairs there. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's still slowly draining out here. But I don't want to send anyone anyone over here real until it's done. Look at all that. Pretty even mm, not quite. I wanna I wanna deal with the couple under this walkway. <laughs> um but I don't want there to be any stray magma around here until before I send people down there to go get pushed into lava. Um, but this will this will make some progress slowly. All of this and all of this. I don't know what's going on here. I've been having a hard time getting people to come over here. Like, I was st trying to station my squads, and they, like, could go here, but not here. I don't know why. And these, like, these naked mole dogs, they've been here for a while now. Just stuck here. I don't know why, like, what's keeping them from leaving. Unless there's, like, a million invisible fish people. But I don't think that's the case. My dwarves would have found them if, that, if there were just hidden units here. I assume. Anyway. Now oh, we're also digging deeper. We're equipping... Equipping our new squads. Um... Oh! Cat? Yeah. <laughs> 
quite get her head when she's standing up like that, but I tried to point it so that it would get her whole body when she's laying down. Kitty. I also find it hilarious if I... Like, her physical position right now is behind this monitor. So, like, I'm... And this is also the monitor where I put OBS. So if I look here, it's like I'm looking through the screen and seeing her just on the other side of it. I can't actually physically see her, but I can see the camera. I also definitely had to turn the, the light that I got all the way down. Even even the light on my camera, I had to turn all the way down. It's like it's... The light in the room is low enough that if, if something is turned all the way up, then it's like blasts you with light, so... I'm glad that she at least looks like a cat. <laughs> with all the stuff that's going on. Anywhere. You eating cables. Yes, there's many new things for you there. I'll assume she's fine. Spinning thread. Cool, 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 cool. Um... What else are we working on? We have quite the forge. Um, clay statues are being made. I want to say clay statue order is just attached to that one shop. Uh, let's see. Make clay statue. Magma kiln. Yeah. And I did that because I have the other ones doing pearl ash. I'm sure we're easier to like change its job from being workshop specific to being like a general job and vice versa. I think that'd be kind of handy. I don't know how you do that though. But it's fine, whatever. <laughs> um, we're taking out trash. Okay. I'll be here. When we're smoothing everything. That's still gonna take a second to complete. It's fine. This stockpile can be Enlarged. Um, this is all fine. Everyone's training. Everyone's come through fighting. We do Asmol. Doesn't Asmol have a church? made churches for everything. I guess I left myself space for some additional churches, but I would have to look at all the ones that currently have them. Bitwreck boil, boil cyst. That's a good one. The steep. one of the big ones. Yeah. Asmol has a church. Why is everyone... Everyone's getting all upset because they haven't prayed. What's stopping you? See, someone's doing it right now, worshipping. 
worker wheel. Um, all of our people are basically fine. Oh, how much glass do we have? Because it's not ending up here, clearly. Yeah, why are you... If I come into here and I try... I'm wondering if you actually have to sweep the floor. Um, we have 24 clear glass blocks. I'm curious. I'll just try it with one. Clear glass block. Would it still end up as transparent if I don't dig out the floor beforehand? I'm curious. Now I know, now I want to know. More ravens. More raven hatchlings. Excellent. Why is there a bunch of ammo in the raven nest? Probably the same reason. Oh, look, they're even being assigned to the places. Our little DF hack thing is assigning all the females to... to these other pens. Very cool. That's a goose. Uh, no one's in there. Like our... This male is still... Tethered. Maybe I should just let him go. Does still have a huge pile of stuff? No. One of these nest boxes had like... A whole bunch of crowns for a minute. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes they'll come by and... Someone just dumped out their quiver onto a bird nest. That's real cool. It's all these raven eggs. Um, yeah, let me see. How many ravens do we have now? These are like, yeah, okay. There's four more. Three females. Um, and these are all, they're all well-trained. Let's keep training. We also have these wrens, which is kind of funny. The small animals are weird. And I guess we could make these pets for people. Vermin catcher shop. We don't even have one of those. Because why? a shop, right? Is it a farm? Vermin catcher's shop. Capture and train small animals here requires animal traps. Oh, what are you gonna get? Are you gonna get made out of glass? Better actually designate it as something. All the birds. 
Clean all the vermin. Why not? Working on smoothing at least. That's good. Okay. Um, I'll let them all work on that. Yay, ravens. Sterling ones left. Are these the ones that I'm missing? Asmol and Lushab. Asmol. Asmol sneaked lost. The Lone Knots is striking down Monum Flag Gravel. That must be. Make a note of that. Asmol is actually Monom. And then this other one, Oak Bronze. Oak Bronze, the Soldier Ant Woman, and Rulish Dungeon Devil. So we already have that one placed, right? One of these I accidentally made two. Yeah, Rulash we have already placed. And then. At all. The human and Fiva ship fates. We've already done that one as well. Right? Well, there's. No, it's Fiva. Yeah, okay. Um, so, the one we just found is number 24, is this one. Monom. Yeah. Okay. So now we're only really missing one. And that one I didn't make because I couldn't find them in the list. That makes sense. Oof. Okay. Okay. That all seems fine. Um, the reason I was looking at the statues was because that means we have a, we've placed all of our decorated ones, and we have a handful of porcelain non-decorated statues. Oh, and there's a new a new one to item. Is that one of the ones I asked for? Mm, no, that's... Who's him? Okay, that's one I asked for. Perfect. Well then. Number 34. Perfect. And you. Who's him? Look at all these cubes! Dissip and Fergig are the only ones left. Are they made yet? Potentially. Dissip, right? Dissip. I don't see gig yet, but it's probably still being placed in a pile. But that means we can now go here to a jeweler's workshop, and I'm going to tell them these are linked, right? They're taking in gems and 
Decoration input and outputting to decoration output. That makes sense. I'm just going to say encrust furniture with cut gems. Until you're done. And then they will do so. For gig. Come on, for a gig. You will live on much longer as a statue than you did a piece. For gig. Oh. The only one I couldn't manage to find, a number. Number 29 here. And look again. That's literally the only one that's left. <laughs> it does look like you can hear my keyboard. Hmm. Clacky, clacky keyboard. Oh, it's right there. Why couldn't I find this last time? A huge darkling beetle. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll place that one too. And then we'll be all caught up. Incredible. We should, like, dig more. Well, I'm sure we're going to find more. <laughs> uh, doing, like, this. And then I can move that. This can be, like, this ain't really cool. go. Could have space for like a hundred beasts here. Yeah, almost. Neat. I'd do something to commemorate all the sieges, but I don't think anyone cares about those. <laughs> I don't think there's any real historical figures to find to make statues of. I've burned all the corpses anyway. Um, but we've already, so we've placed some designations, some of our DF hack, um, building planner designations. So these are just waiting for encrusted statues or decorated statues specifically. So as, as the statues become decorated, they will just show up in those nooks and in our overflow, uh, Furniture stockpile. It's fine. Everything's fine. I do kind of want to dig out the rest of this. Uh, no. Like, not, not urgently. So blueprints to standard select. Do that. really care to do all these other hallways. It's like, why? I don't really go anywhere right now. I just go around, so. Not necessary. Or should I make more space for more nests? Also, is Auto Butcher watching the ravens? Um, 
I just... One status. One watch, forget. Can I just do auto butcher? Okay. Auto watching for new races. Uh, are ravens in here? Ravens are here. So we're doing the same as everything else. Auto butchering is paused. There are ravens. Okay. I think we will continue to have that paused until we get a couple more generations. And then I'll just turn that back on. I'll probably kill a bunch of the older ones. And then we'll be good from there. Even all these other birds. Okay, so that's fine. Making a whole bunch of clothes. Very good. Hopefully we make people happy slowly. Maybe. Maybe not constantly tantruming. You just uh yeah okay hmm. the birds are very the birds well behaved sometimes <laughs> almost oddly so all this smooth stone very satisfying one thing that they changed with the visual style with the steam version is that all of these Floor types are visually the same. I know all of this is the same. This is all legitimately Gabbro. Like, what if we find... This is <laughs> legitimately all uh, one thing, but like... Like, the walls look different. Like, here's a, you know, tetrahedrite wall versus a microcline wall. But this floor is all marble. I find... some different stuff. This is all marble. This is all granite. Here's here, yeah, like here's here's granite, here's marble. They're the same. Like visually. It didn't used to be that way. It used to be all the different colors of the rainbow would be on your floor. And if you wanted to make everything look nice and uniform, you'd have to like intentionally put down floors of a single color. Um, which you can still do. Uh, there's people who make like pixel art and stuff. People do some really cool visual stuff in this game. Um, like, you can intentionally make the floor different colors, but by default, it's all just floor. Which is great. It just, it looks so much more uniform from the outset. I do want to get rid of all these rocks still, but... That's a process. Um, let's check on our cave situation. This is still raining slowly. Here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is just drying out. Perfect. And that got made. And no one got trapped here. Yes. Okay, good. Um, so let's dig there. need to link that to a lever which we will do in our lever room uh, let's see all being used oh, we found cave three that's right um, this is magma dump Mm 
and we'll link you to uh, this one. means we can do one and then the other and that'll in theory be all of the all of the fish hideouts all of the fish sticks which will be good because we're back down to 16 fps my goodness stray cavey pup has been bitten by a cave spider Stairs. This is our, our our unfortunately glass bridge. Um, and then here, here's our some exploratory tunnels that we're digging. Uh, this is cave number three, which is very tall somehow. I've I've never seen a cave quite like this before. Can we even see the bottom? Well, there's water way down there. Holy cow. That's like... What is this? This is 103. We came in... 80? This is like a, a 25 level tall pit cave. It's ridiculous. It's not... Not normal in my experience. Um, let's do... I'm gonna do some more exploratory tunnels. I do kind of want to see the layout of this cave. We'll generally close these off as we find things. In theory, I'll be getting alerts if they punch in again, so I'm gonna close them off real quick. But that'll show us what's going on down here. Let's do like this as well. Okay. we doing? I've been thinking about expanding our, our topside stuff. Oh. oh. Our Dissith is continuing its rampage. 36 kills and a Forgotten Beast. That's not bad. Oh, here comes some more. Oh, look, Arish is throwing another tantrum. <laughs> Are you going to throw a pile of wool? <laughs> Cotton to the ground. There, I fixed it. He's all downstairs. Okay, good. Oh, wow. That's a lot of ants. That's a lot of ants. Yeez. <laughs> Better you than me. Hmm? Hmm. Ow. Holy cow. They all have like 
You're doing blow darts, right? Blow gunner. Um, skilled blow gunner. But all they have is just literally a blow gun and darts. Novice armor user, but you don't have armor. Novice armor user. Competent armor user. Novice bone doctor. An ant bone doctor? Is that a... A carapace doctor? An exoskeleton doctor? Or... An ant that happens to be good at... Bones. <laughs> I wonder how that works. I wonder... Because ants don't have bones, but they do have bones, right? In a gameplay sense. So I wonder... I actually wonder how the game handles that. I don't actually know. Um, anyway, you're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Ease. I mean, they're... They have the advantage of being able to make ranged attacks while webbed. They're not completely useless, because they can sit there and, and just keep doing their blow darts, but... Clearly that's not helping them. Wow. It's a lot of ant people. I didn't think there were that many down there. You up to 77. Wasn't it 30 something like two minutes ago? It's just going to wipe them all out. Hopefully Arish isn't killing anyone upstairs. Oh, good lord. Mismatch. Oh! I had to say it. Hey, look. A child standing over a corpse. Playing on a corpse. I won't even be able to find <laughs> the combat log amid all the ant death. Child punches the tanner in the head. Horse bends the neck. Child punches the tanner in the leg. Pulls the hip. Ligament has been bruised. Oh no, you're attacking the dog! Thing, so I finally googled it and looked at the actual justice page on the wiki. It's not even that children don't get put in jail. Like, I was kind of wondering, because I've never actually seen him in a jail cell. Convict him of things. No one's actually accused anyone of those stuff, so that's fine. Um, like, I can convict... Erish... for things. That he's done. But nothing happens. Children are just exempt from the justice system entirely, apparently. Like he's not getting not getting put in timeout, not getting smacked by the guard. Just being convicted and going, thanks guys, and moving on with his life, and then killing more people. Ridiculous is what it is.
Everyone's caught in the web. Forgotten Beast is still fighting. No, this seems... There's a couple fewer ants here than there were before. Oh my god. This cave will never be clean. Just declaring that now. I was injured. We up to 110 kills. Nine ant... Nine queen ant women, 16 soldier ant women, 15 worker ant women, 11 drone ant men. Giant rats, giant cave toads. Huh. Well then, and you're fine now. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Let's not fight that one. What were you even doing? I'm having a hard time, like, staying <laughs> focused. Been here for an hour and have just, like, watched things happen. Um, the smoothing and eating. Smoothing is happening, though. Which is good. Um, all of our squads are still full. We haven't had as much of a hard time keeping our squads full as we did previously. Um, any talented mark store? Sure. Um, you can do that. That's fine. And all these squads should still be okay. Aside from the handful of people that children have killed. I didn't even say that. It's just the one tantrumer at this point. There's, an, there's maybe one or two other tantrumers who are popping up every once in a while, but Arish is like... Enemy number one. <laughs> Public enemy number one. I imagine it's mostly just because no one fights back. Once he becomes an adult, he pisses off someone, pisses off the wrong person, it's gonna be the last tantrum. Squads have been completely wiped out. Okay. Now, our two new actual fighty squads are slowly getting equipped, except for their pants, apparently. What's going on here? No assigned items. I told. I instructed my people to make more greaves. Hmm. They mostly have pants. You're still... Oh, these are still on the previous... the... uniform. You're also missing, like, greaves. Do we just need that many more greaves? We can make more steel greaves. See if that helps. 
Okay. Uh, and then we can check on our up here situation. It's draining. Okay, so that got did. That got did. Now I want to make a floor here. Not out of glass, please. There, that's good. Okay, and then we'll just wall that off. And then we'll be good to go. Um, throne room. Eh? My goodness, you can still see through it, even though I didn't dig through the ground. It's a little cheesy, but at this point I'll take it, I think. Because one of our, one of our more, um, oh, that's right, we have ghosts. Ghostly human bard batters Saffet. Human on human violence. Ghostly human bard. Hm. Values tranquility. Pa, pa. Okay, well, let's make a um, slab real quick. Stone worker, add engrave to Mechos. There was another one too, wasn't there? Fish. Yeah, Solon. Ghost. really need to smooth out all that, but that's fine. Um, da, ba, da, ba, da. And it's fine. All this stupid crafting nonsense. Clean up your crap, please. Hmm. All this blood. Oh, someone got really battered. Sorry about that. Uh, do we get a combat log for that? Not really. Just got beat up. <laughs> the impertinent vegetation that's in here, yeah. That's what we should do, really. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see if we can make this a little nicer. Um, I'm just going to kind of continue our pattern here. Doing what? Four in between. So one, two, three, four. Here would be the middle. And I want these to be marble. We have a bunch of marble blocks. Cool. Um, I can just set filter to marble blocks. Maybe. Uh, how do I no. hmm. well don't know how that's supposed to work <laughs> um 
So that's what? Five to the middle? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And here. And then same thing. Go up. Alright, so that'll be one, two, three, four. And then the side and then the middle. Facing these engraved floors, I think. Actually, I don't know that for sure. We'll see what happens here. But, all in the name of progress. Um, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wow. Neat! So yeah, we'll add, we'll add three more little waterfall bits. What's going to be difficult? I guess we'll we put grates in here. I don't want the water to like wash people into the, the well. I guess that's what I'm concerned about. Um, and also washing the soap in. I think I want to put the soap. These are, these are for instruments, so oh, these are fine. And mugs. Why not? If you want to drink the bath water, you can drink the bath water. Um, so I think... We could also just like actually close this in. Make an actual closed room out of it. That's what we'll do. Let's do this. Let's get into our stockpile. And we will put it in the middle. Right. Except. Of course, now I want to get rid of these these chests, but we can, let's put them in the inside. Let's do this. Are these all the same? They're probably all marble or something. Uh, chalk. We got a bunch of chalk coffers. And then we'll build these outside corners. And then we can do... Do walls like this. We can put doors in. Right? Because then, yeah, just inside will be our... This is all, like, <laughs> completely unnecessary and overkill, and no one's in here using it anyway, but I want it to look nice at least. Sterling silver statue. Oh, that's right. Yeah, one of our, our duplicated Forgotten Beast statues lives down here now. Welcome back. Um, I'm fiddling with our bathhouse. 
There's people in the yard. Hope you didn't get stabbed. Uh, let's see. Ultimately, I care about these tiles. Is that right? Why is that not symmetrical here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five. No, oh, stop. Report's too late. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Builder has defaced a thing. Okay, yeah. They're not gonna like us building on top of these sculptures, but or engravings, but so it goes. Uh, okay, then we're gonna do that and that and that. Which. Ultimately, I guess we could turn off all this water. You have the ability. Did all these things get for Anyway, um, let's turn off bathhouse flow for now. Um, and then we can, we can disassemble these chests. And put in some doors. I was even doing greats, wasn't I? I assume I need to actually dig the floor before I build a grate. I don't really know that for sure. I mean, I was surprised by the glass. Let's try it. We'll do the one and see what happens. Oh, but ultimately... do something like that and then we could just do this kind of it'll be it will be a little awkward on this side but that's fine please just go like that
And then how do we get there? Do let's do this. Down the stair like that. Like that. That. enough water coming through to do exactly what I want to happen here to be you know to actually fill all this but we're experimenting Let's see what happens the next iteration of something like this will be smaller I have determined also since apparently we can just place glass floor here without opening up the ground. I'm gonna do that. Let's do your glass blocks. Oh, we only have eleven more. That's fine. We'll do this. Use them for the things I made them for, please. Not random riches instead. Okay. Mm, more people slipping into depression. First of all, we're only down to four, which is pretty dang good. Best we've done in hmm, quite a while. Oh, are they... Freaking out over this... Yeah, okay. Hmm. You can get there. Is it too close to magma? The fire above, is that the problem? Uh, that means we should turn on... Temperature. Oh, hey! Thanks for the raid, holy cow. Welcome. Um, how, how are you? <laughs> I don't, I, I've only been raided once before and I missed it, so I don't really know the, the raid etiquette, but, um, hi, welcome. Um, I'm, what am I doing? I'm turning back on temperature so that this fire can finish burning. So that they can build something on top of it. I think everyone's like running over to like try to build the floor and then there's fire underneath it so they're all giving up. Um, yeah, hi. Um, here's my fortress. Um, you want to see my forgotten beast? I think we still have one down here. Somewhere? Yeah. This guy now has... 112 kills and has killed another forgotten beast this one went on a complete rampage not too long ago that was cool uh we did good we got a new job in football manager oh, oh he's running away here we'll just do this follow um this is the web guy um or one of the web guys the most recent web guy uh, if it turned me down five months earlier, we were cocker in the interview this time. You need to look how need me 
you need me look how bad it went with the other guy you hired instead of me <laughs> um yeah here <laughs> this oh and fire why is there fire here I don't know why there's fire here why be oh, I just turned on temperature again so maybe that's interesting that is a lot of fire um i've never heard it phrased as cocker we can we say cocky people get a person can be cocky um or can act cocky um yeah but never cocker <laughs> related words obviously um yeah, there's a whole bunch of rotting ant people corpses under here that this uh, this person, this this forgotten beast, just annihilated this whole group here Not earlier in the stream. Um, and this is already burning out. Temperature can be weird. Oh, poor little Gorlack. <laughs> On more things, like there's a min overcome by terror. Um... Fuck here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I should probably saying it, stop saying it in case uh, Twitch and YouTube get upset at me. Um, yeah, Cocker Spaniels. It's a thing. Um, I've heard, I've heard stories of, like, if you fiddle with the temperature, you can turn temperature calculations on and off in this game. Um, sometimes if you... Something that would be too hot and would just cat like spontaneously combust. But if you turn off temperature calculations, then it's just it doesn't combust. It just is really hot. And then you turn temperature back on, and then the lights on fire. I think that's what happened. Oh, and these ant people are fighting the Gorlax. That's a much more even fight, <laughs> as, as opposed to Forgotten Beast. Yeah, here we go. Come on, come and finish them off. a bat there probably even a corpse yeah that's a corpse where are you where are you going you don't want to kill the ant people <laughs> more fire uh did, is that us fish people the fish people are rallying um, so I'm gonna send some of my dwarves down here. They're getting, they're getting close. Wow. Um, so for for anyone who hasn't seen Dwarf Fortress before, um, we're we're underground here, obviously, but we have two uh, main cave layers. Um, I'd show you around, but I want to keep an eye on these fish people because they've been hazard. They've been the primary um, antagonist of this fortress so far. <laughs> Um, nope, don't, where are you coming? Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. And who's this? This is our, this is a militia captain. But half our fortress is militia captains because I have everyone kind of do, um, a rotation of squad duty. Um, anyway, we have a gi this gigantic cave layer. Caves come in layers. So this is all natural cave that I've built in. Um, like here's our here's our pasture area with our, all our goats, and here's our farm. And all this. Um, but the the cave itself is huge. Um, you can see all this this water down here. And it comes all the way up here. Um, and all this mud. So this cave used to be like half lake. So. More. Dang. Okay. And oop, here's an actual an actual equipped person. Here comes our squad. And here's a backup. Okay. Our mili militia likes to come in here one by one and get owned. <laughs> so hopefully this isn't too bad. Um, oh, they're here they come. Jeez. Okay. Let's let's station you all. Yeah, here's fine. That's fine. Cavefish people. 
they are a thing. Um, they have this cool thing. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is all over the place right now. Cavefish people have this cool thing where they come in off the side of the map um, and can be invisible to me and my fortress people. They'll be their ambushers. So I, I don't see them all. I don't get to know that the, the cavefish people are even present until one of my dwarves can actually like see cavefish person. And then, they, and then a bunch of them will get revealed. That's why I can see the rest of these. Because we had that one person wandering down here and saw them, and then I got notified. Um, through through hacking means, I know that there are like at least like 300 cavefish people on the map right now, and I can see like maybe a dozen um, because they they come in off the map and they like water. They just chill in the water. This is going very well so far, by the way. We are, we are not usually this well up, <laughs> well matched. Um, so our training is doing good. Uh, they'll, come, they'll come in off the map, invisibly, and go into the lake, go into the water, and they'll be just in the water forever. And they'll wait for a dwarf to get close enough to the water that they can hop out and go surprise, and they go stab, and, like stab them in the ankles. And then dwarves are very good at very good at dodging, not good at dodging in the right direction. So they all dodge into the water, and now you're in the water with the aquatic thing with a spear, and it goes very poorly for the dwarves every time. Um, so the, the oh, see now he's getting surrounded. They're still okay. They're getting a little spread out. I wish they would stick together. I think there's like there's like discipline stats that kind of dictate that. Maybe. Yeah, this is oh, it's so many. Look at them all. Then they're they're just like advancing on us. So, like, look at all this. There's more. Um. Ultimately, this all used to be water. All of like, if you look on our little mini map here, all of these dark gray areas are areas that used to be lake that I have flooded with magma and turned into obsidian. So those are our fish sticks. Our dwarven fish sticks are fish people cast into obsidian. And we've done that with many. Um, but there's still more. Like, look at these. They're just, they're just in here. There's three on this one tile. And all this trash and all these corpses. And they just sit here and they'll just wait for someone to come by and they'll pop out. And it's awful. We have lost so many people to these cavefish people. Um, so now we have some people stationing back here and not backing up their friends. So we're going to advance them forward a little bit. Maybe over here. I really wish they were coming through a, some of my trap corridors. But you know, that's how that goes. Uh, jeez, this is nerve wracking. Um, like if we if we look at our units readout, I can look at people who aren't us, basically. Uh, caged, I have a bunch of cavefish people in cages, because of course, uh, invader. So these are the actual cavefish people that we're fighting. Let's see how many there are. My god. Too many. Absolutely too many. Um, so that's like the main thing we're dealing with right now. Oh. Oof. They're all, yeah, them, them all getting spread out and like 1v1, one equipped a dwarf versus one cavefish person, the dwarf will win. But that's like not how they fight. It'll be five cavefish people and one dwarf, and the dwarf loses. Okay, well that's... That's looking pretty good. We didn't lose anyone there, did we? We still got... We got ten there. We got ten there. 
That could have been much worse. Um, I'm curious what's left. I could... Like, look at these. These are probably coming in off the edge of the map here. This is the edge. And units can come in onto our map from outside. What are you... What are you doing down here? You doing... Resting? You don't need to be down here. Get away. <laughs> this is dangerous. You can even see here, this is a forgotten beast corpse that came in off the edge of the map up here. While this was all still water and filled with cavefish people, the forgotten beast came up to the edge of the water and got assaulted by cavefish people and died. Cavefish, per cavefish people killed the forgotten beast. And forgotten beasts can be, I mean, they're, some of them are very strong, some of them are not. It's just how it goes. Um, like these, I want they're, they're just gonna come over into the water. Look at this. Look at all these things that have been happening, I don't care. Do they... That's the sound that plays when we have revealed new units. Oh my god. They're in the tree. Why are they in the tree? Like, this is area... This is all places that I've already even... Magmud. We have... I've been trying to get people over here to do all this. Of course, now it's working, and I don't want them to, because now it's all dangerous again. Okay. Ignore all that, please. Um, so clearly... So, I walled off some of our cave. So, like, this is a... All these little brick bits, These are this is a wall that I've made. So I've been trying to wall off this cave so that things can't get in from the side of the map. But I think the fact that I have created ground here means that now there's a new way for them to get off the map. So now I need to close off those too. And there goes the naked mole dogs. Those naked mole dogs were trapped over here for a while. And now, what are you doing? Making me nervous. What are these doing? These are coming for us. Yeah, here they come. Uh, I don't want to fight near magma. For the same reason I don't want to fight near ma ma fight near water. Mm. Station back up here. If you can. Like you, this one's gonna be. Are you gonna obey? Follow orders, please. If uh, she sees these, she's just gonna run for them. Yeah. Words aren't very good at orders. I can give them suggestions. I can't. There's a lot of things that I can't tell them to do, like directly. Now see here, this is dangerous. One dwarf, four or five fish, are, is backup coming? Slowly? Yeah. See, yeah, please survive. We've had a good record so far. Nope, there's backup. Okay. Now they should be fine. Buddy system. People. See, they're just like... I tell them to station in a square, but they'll, like, keep an eye on the whole area. For better or worse.
and see if there's more somewhere. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, oh, okay. How are you? You are healthy. Okay, that's good. Let's... I'm actually going to take... I have two other squads that are in training, I guess. Still getting gear made for them and everything. But... I'm going to have them uh, get, get in on this. Maybe get some experience and maybe die. Someone lost a shield. The cavefish people have shields, though. They're doing, yeah, shield and spear. Jay, am I blame you for this? You raided me and then I got raided. The last like two streams have been almost completely devoid of fish people drama. And I've just been slowly clearing out their, their water parts. And then... and then you shut up. <laughs> okay. I think we're okay. Tempted to... I'm gonna tell my people to come down here, just so if there's more things hiding, we'll, we'll see them. This is just... This is how it's been going. <laughs> we were... So we're up to 162 population. Our cap is 200. We were at 200 for a little bit. Early, like, several in-game years ago. And then our... We came all the way back down to, like, 110. Yep, here we go. Here they are. See, they're probably in this... They're in the water. They're coming in off the map here. Okay, well, they're going to filter into us. That's fine. Much better when they come in one by one. Um, what was I just saying? Oh, we we had, like, several hundred people die, mostly dwarves. Um... And it's almost entirely due to the, the freaking cavefish people. We had a couple of <laughs> disasters right in a row. Um, so it wasn't all cavefish people. There's been goblins. And we were tangling with the ant people in the lower cave as well for a little while. But... Hmm. Want to see my coffins? My... My, my tomb area? Uh here. These. Coffins. Results of fish people. That's not even everyone. It's not including all the corpses I couldn't retrieve, or corpses that fell into the water, or into the magma. And what's worse, the way this game runs, is the door fortress basically runs as fast as it can, up to a cap. And then as things get more complex and there's more units on, this, on the map and more items for the game to handle and all that kind of stuff, the game just kind of slowly gets slower. So we're, we're all the way down at 13 frames a second, calculations per second, basically. You know, this, this one's gonna go run off on his own. Get himself surrounded. Um, so basically, the game is running, like, way slower than it would be ideal, simply because there are hundreds of cavefish people on the map right now. Now, just gonna get, keep getting closer to the water there. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Okay, okay. Yep, kill the last one, and then, oh, there's another. They'll just keep popping out. And then, now, please, for the love of God, come back. 
stay away from the water. Come back. Come back. Come back. You, I'm talking to you. There's two of them here. Havas and Melville. No. Don't get closer. Is one of them, one of them's tired. They're not injured. Get the frick away. I'm just gonna full on get rid of their order. Go eat. Go to bed. Rest. You're gonna rest right there? No, okay, good. Goodness. Okay, well that could have been much worse. That has historically been much worse. And look, and our other, other squads are here. You don't all have steel stuff, do you? Iron, steel... Hmm. Need to make more steel gear. Iron press plate, iron helm. Yeah, okay. Um, that's easy enough. Let's queue up. Steel helm. Steel breastplate. Steel nail shirts. This is the work order screen. I can tell everyone to do stuff from here, kind of. of you. You are dismissed. For the moment. Or something terrible is gonna happen any minute now. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm working on flooding all of the lakes with magma. Using all of my channels and stuff up here. Okay, so then... The stuff that was here eventually burned out again, so now I'm gonna I'm actually gonna turn temperature back off. Um, just because of our frame rate situation. Um, okay, so then I just wanna build a wall here. And then this is linked, right? Yeah, that got linked. More. Okay, this is downstairs. This is fine. This is Forgotten Beast versus Ant People. You want to see some webs? I'll get some webs here. You can see all the webs on the ground. Just no. Oh. Oh, there comes an ant person. The ant people tend to have blowguns. Oop. Bleh. They like to come one by one, too. You can see how effective that is. <laughs> of course, all this is happening on two different levels. Okay, so that's fine. That's all fine. So I have I have vision on this second cave, but it's completely sealed off. There's no way for anything in here to actually get into our fortress. There's no way for us to get down there without me opening up a, a door, basically. Um, so this is all fine. This is our terrarium. <laughs> we get to just watch this. Um, and luckily, the Forgotten Beast kind of keeps the ant population down. Ow. Jeez. It's a lot of webs. Um, but the, like, the sound, the notification of things have been found, it's the same sound if it's upstairs or downstairs. So I've actually, there's been times where I've missed things because I thought it was just a bunch of ant people. And it turns out one of them was fish people. And they got inside. That was fun. 
Here's some more. No, web, web. In case there's people who don't know this game, um, like ant people, creatures like ant people are, they're ant people. They're, you know, they got six arms, they got a carapace, they have, they have stats. Forgotten beasts, this guy here is a, a class of beast that is procedurally generated. And they can come in so many different shapes and sizes. Um, let's look at this one. Uh, description. Disseth, Disseth Fish Dream is a gigantic one-eyed pterosaur. It has a round shell and it undulates rhythmically. Rose taupe scales are large and close set, but wear its webs. This is all procedurally generated. This is a one-of-a-kind, well, probably one-of-a-kind creature. Um, we've had all sorts of other beasts show up, all different shapes and sizes. They can be made of mud. They can be made of fire. They can be... They can fly. They can be worms. They can have... They can breathe fire. They can spit webs. They can have deadly blood. They have all these different things that they can do and have and feed. And... Some combinations of things are much deadlier than others. Like this, this guy has, this one's been a champ. Uh, this one has 150 kills plus a different forgotten beast. So yeah, like look at this. These are not, these are not nothing. These would give our dwarves some, some stuff. <laughs> this many ants. Uh, would be a would be a, a good fight between our dwarves and, and them, but this forgotten beast just webs them all. And then they're screwed. Ridiculous. There's just there's so many. Wow. I really hope I'm not missing anything this is all downstairs yeah that's all fine that's just gonna keep going that's just what is going on down there um meanwhile i do want to keep an eye on this cave situation like we had this is our farm area and this is kind of the stair into the fortress proper we've had web slinging forgotten beasts too Two different web-slinging forgotten beasts get, like, all the way in here, and the fight was, like, on our stairwell. Inside our fortress. Some of those were very scary. Then sometimes they'll just get a quadruped made of mud, and they'll go, or snow. We had a snowball. I think we've had two snowballs. And, they, and like, they're nothing. That You hit them once, and they go, and then they're done. So it's it's total crapshoot. Need steel bars. Okay. I believe I have work orders in here for steel bars. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, that's all going. Um, here's our forge. Um, there, here's our magma. This is so this is actually in the second cave. So this is not too far from our forgotten beast. I think it's down. Or was it down here somewhere? It's somewhere in here. Um, oh, down there. So this is the second cave layer. All all of our corpses and stuff. Um, but this is a naturally occurring magma feature, which is kind of a, a, a vertical shaft of magma that's open to the cave, and it goes it goes way down. Like I'm scrolling, you can't even tell. <laughs> Um, but we have, dwarves are very good at, at forges and magma and stuff, so uh, we have all of these forges and smelters and, and glass furnaces and kilns and stuff so resting on top of these little channels made of magma, or filled with magma, and they, they use the magma. Look at all these iron bars. Um, Nope, those are fish people. Those are fish. See, I'm glad I checked. Who's here? Who is seeing this? You. Place item in tomb. Yeah, I bet. 
going through them though. There's a lot of iron. Um, you need iron for steel, and steel is the good stuff aside from the secret deeper stuff that we haven't found yet. Um, see these, they're just gonna hang out in the tree. Absolute dorks. Yeah, we're, we're using magma to, to smelt things. You don't need to use fuel uh, if you're if you're using the magma in that way. Um, normally, if you have like a, a non-magma powered forge situation, then you're using coal to do all the jobs. Um, so we're we're gonna be able to crank through making all that steel stuff much quicker. This is all trash. This all used to be lake. You can see all the the corpses of. Um, Dwarves who met their end in the water. Um, yeah. Um, but the, the same magma, uh, using the magma to, to power our forges and stuff, but we are also able to pump it. This is a, this is a pump, screw pumps. And pumps can raise liquids, water or or magma. So I'm raising magma all the way up to above the first cave. So from like the bottom of the second cave to above the first cave, and then dropping it into the first cave to turn all the water into obsidian. That's the main project right now. So that we don't have fish people. Or at least so many of them. Um, speaking of, so this is one of the areas where we're going to do it next. This is all... I'm also just waiting for that. Someone could do that. That'd be great. Like, I can I can say I want a wall built here, but I can't tell a dwarf to go build that wall right now. I just have to wait for someone to accept that job. Or for that job to find a dwarf, I think is actually how it works, but... Oh, jeez. Equipment mismatch, that's fine. Okay. Well, and we're the capital of our civilization, so we have a whole bunch of nobles that visit from, from the world map. Here's our surface. Um, that's fine. Um, but, like, barons from other ports in our civilization are, like, constantly here visiting. I wonder how many I can see... Look our friendlies. Not a two. Uh, we have a visiting goblin poet. Two goblin poets. Out and running around babbling. I don't know why you're outside being crazy, but I mean, and this guy's been here for a long time. I have no idea why. Sometimes visitors are just weird. And naked. Um, what are the Baron show? Oh, guest, of course. We've got a diplomat. Uh, Baroness, Baron, Baroness, Baroness, Baron, Baroness, Countess, Baroness, Countess, Outpost Liaison, Baron. Oh, the King is here. King's old man has been here quite frequently, even. We used to have the Queen. Um, she was a resident of our fortress, and then she had a training accident with someone who threw a tantrum while the military was away, and the queen is now dead. Um, so, but the queen, like when we first became the, the capital of our civilization, the queen came to us to make us the capital. But now that the queen is dead, the new king has not moved here. He just kind of... Like, he lives somewhere else. And he just kind of comes and visits. He's here, like, half the time. He's here a lot. But he doesn't live here. Which is funny, because, like, I'm... One of the things I've been working on is this really fancy, like, throne room. Oh, you should see my throne room. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a dangerous place to be. Um... I'm surprised that we keep getting migrants to show up. Um, 
but here we have uh, like this was the queen's bedroom and her tomb which she's not buried in and the dining hall and then this is where we're storing all of our artifacts when when dwarves get into a really fancy mood they'll they'll make some fancy things um, but this is our throne room and I'm still working on the floor and the the whole idea with this was the floor of the throne room is glass and you can see through it down into the lower cave you can be in the throne room looking down onto the ant people being annihilated by the forgotten beasts um, and I don't know why she's not in her tomb I had it assigned to her and then she died and then she got buried in one of these little silly tombs way down here I don't actually know why that worked that way <laughs> I definitely don't know everything about what goes on in here because this is a a whole thing Let's see now they're they've been struggling to build this wall forever mm. that's all fine Tempted to send my soldiers down here. See if they can actually make it here this time. Random naked mole dogs running around. Um, but if this wall gets made. Someone please make the wall. Um, yeah, there's all magma. I'm just going to cancel that because that's going to confuse them forever, apparently. What else were we working on <laughs> before all the cavefish people showed up? Here's one. The fact that he's coming down here is a good sign. We're gonna kill the mole dog. Look at the mole dog. Or not. Oh, they're actually hostile. They die when they walk into traps. I know that for sure. They're just kind of coexisting. That's interesting. And some of these are these are all pools of magma. Ugh. leftovers from my activities, of course, but dangerous nonetheless. Is anyone else going to show up? Where's your friends? There's one. There we go. Okay. Wait. Are you naked? You're here to pick up equipment. Put on your armor, please. down here too you need you all need to be careful I kind of need to restrict their movement a bit more um, I can I can forbid the items that will keep them from coming down here to take them at least Everything's fine. Uh, okay, here come the friends. This tree scares me. They'll probably try to fight in the tree. This is a mushroom tree, by the way. <laughs> the caves are filled with mushroom trees. 
uh, tower caps, and then fungi woods. And then deeper caves have different ones. Three? That's all you have so far? Come on. They look more fish. They, see, they're just... They're coming in off the side of the map. Fill this tree. Because that's a good substitute for water. Where that works. I wish I could just chop down the tree. <laughs> They definitely wouldn't let me get away with that, though. And I would love more than four. See, they're gonna like run around and try to equip themselves. Their store item and stockpile. Mm. Fish people. Did, look at this. What the. <laughs> That's too many. We can't attack that. That is too many. That's on one tile. What the hell? Oh my god. What? Um, so we had a magma spigot here. Can I repurpose this? I bet I could drop it just right on top of the tree. <laughs> That'll... Let's do this. Let's do... Well, I have to get in there first. Uh, well, they can get in. Okay. Right? We can still get up here. This is all fine. Let's make a floor. Of course, they can see the fish people from there. They're going to get all upset. Uh, but let's try this. Let's do floor. Granite blocks. See if they can make that. And then we'll, we'll just move our spigot over on top of the tree. And see if we can dump magma on them directly. That's the goal here. Because that's too many. It feels vengeful joining a conflict. I'm sure. Look, look at this. It's, it's too many. That's too many. We can't fight that. Three dwarves standing around like, what are we doing, boss? You're going back home, that's what you're doing. Um, and then let's forbid all of this stuff again. Uh, this way. I don't need anyone coming down here trying to grab a spear. Getting jumped on by a thousand cave fish people. Have a, so I have a mod installed called DF Hack. Um, it's basically a, uh, a collection of tools and hacks and cheats and stuff. Um, but they're not all not all super cheaty. Sometimes they just tell you things. Um, so I'm gonna run the exterminate command, but without any things. So it's just gonna tell me. And it tells me that there are currently 325 cavefish people on the map right now. And there's only four ant men, in, just for comparison. To do somethings somewhere. Don't know where those are. Um. Let's see, what are you? What are you doing? Are you going to bed? Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, well, we'll see if that gets done. And then this wall... It's been done! Okay, perfect. And... 
No one got locked inside. So, now that this will be all closed off the way I want it to be, I'm going to direct magma through here, which this is already open. This needs to open. So it will, it'll fill this whole channel, but it'll go to here. This is a, a floodgate that I can open and close with, by a lever. Um, but then we will force our magma down this little random slope. Um, down through here, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll start obliterating obliterating this pond is the goal. Because I know there's there's some fish people here. What are you all doing down here? Mm. I also know, so this is a, a footpath that I built over the lake at one point so that we could access down here. Um, but of course the magma couldn't flow under the walkway, so now there's just a little strip of, of water remaining directly under it. And of course there's a handful of fish people in there. Because why wouldn't there be? Uh, okay. Um, okay, well I want to keep an eye on this. That's been okay, so that's been opened, so this is that needs power. That's right. Which is powered over here. I need to link or need to pull that lever. Then we'll be good. I was also working on all this. This is our bathhouse. It's a mud pit right now. It didn't work exactly the way that I wanted it to, but you know. Um, what else do we got? We got so Yeah, this is our main, like, fancy level. This is our, our royal stuff. This is our, these are temples. These are two big temples. These are small temples. Um, dedicated to individual gods. Based on the deities that our citizens are worshipping. Like, see, this person's gonna come in here and... Well, maybe not. <laughs> um, this is a visiting baron who's running around in our temples. Yeah, has come to pray at the Temple of Trading. Whichever one that is. But this one... That one. The Temple of Trading. They all get random names when they get made. Kind of related to the deity that they're dedicated towards. Um, anyway, magma. Oh, except... Hmm. I am powering my machines with my bath water uh, which means that this isn't flowing okay but actually I can I've planned for such a thing okay I just want to open these okay. that's what we want um because I'm I'm essentially diverting a river from the surface if you come up here we have a brook that flows up this way, um, but I'm, I'm diverting it, basically, down. It comes all the way down, past our cave, <laughs> past our hospital, all the way down to the bottom of our fortress, basically, um, and then splits, and then this part turns into a um, bathhouse. Basically, we have waterfalls coming down into our bathhouse, because waterfalls make dwarves happy. Rule number one, waterfalls are very good for happy thoughts. Um, but then I have this other path that just circumvents the bathhouse and goes down into the cisterns below. And then the water drains out this way, 
and then this is where my water wheels are so this is where the power that is powering my magma pumps is coming from here so need to make sure that water is actually flowing through these channels so that it'll turn the water wheels so that it will pump the magma yeah. um, so just waiting for that to get opened Um, hopefully these are <laughs> linked correctly. It'd be unfortunate if not. I'm just still working on it. Okay. Chop, chop. not gonna like that. Mm. Oh, and a tantrum. This child. We need to keep an eye on this child. This child keeps throwing tantrums and killing people. Ten kills. One of them's a dog, but nine citizens have fallen to the hands of this tantruming child. He just threw a ring. <laughs> You can tantrum down here in the cave on your own. As long as no one else is around here, that's fine. Threw something and then immediately became ashamed about it. Okay. Well, so long as no one else comes down here, I think you're fine. Oh, here they come. Of course. What are you doing? You're here to store an item. This is the murder child. Any more? There's... I can even convict the child of his crimes, but he's a child, so he doesn't get, like, punished in the same way an adult would, or at all, apparently. So he just keeps literally getting away with murder because he's a child. Watch this. Oop. Okay. Maybe fine, I guess. Did they... uh, nope. No combat log for it. Okay, so... Oh, but he can, like, punch the geese, too. Eats. Um... They were making steel. Still grieves. Still tantruming? Yeah. Tantrum throwing a tantrum and playing at the same time. That's just what he does, apparently. Hopefully you don't kill this person as they walk by. I've been fine. Uneasy dwelling upon seeing a cavefish woman's dead body. Well, there are a couple of those down here. Hmm. Get a hobby. I'm so nervous to take my eyes off him. Every time I look away, I just get like a a person has been found dead notice. But, oh, look, it's the child who's killed another one. Now he's fine again. Okay. Uh, let's check on our magma. Not yet. Inactive. 
disengaged. Oh, did I? Whoop, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, cause that got pulled. Okay, I didn't actually need to pull the other one before, so now I have to re-pull it again. Oops, not that. Did I actually get the right one? Yeah, okay. But in theory, yeah, so now the water's flowing this way. So that'll actually power our stuff again. I didn't. Oh, duh. I did that a silly way. I'll have to fix that. Someone's pulling the lever. So now, yeah, magma. Here it comes. And of course, it's going to split and do whatever, but this is the part that I care about. We'll fall here. Perfect. And then go bleh. This is what I've been doing. <laughs> Trying to take away all the spots where the cavefish people can be hidden. At least in the water. And something about... Oh, we're saving. Something about the trees being in the water means they don't burn, I guess? Or like a full... Re itself doesn't burn, but like individual items can burn. I'm not actually sure what's going on there, but these trees don't burn in this specific instance. Surprised the cat isn't here. Okay. I also wonder, like, if... <laughs> um, I wonder if a cavefish person dies that I don't know about. Like, do I even get a notification about it? I don't even know. Like, I know there's some up here. It's going to take a minute for us to actually get there. Okay, well, this can take a minute. I've kind of been doing this in stages, so this is another another stage beginning, basically. Um, and this will kind of do its thing for a little while. Um, and then <laughs> there's all these... Uh, God. I went to... Okay. So we can cancel this. And then... Instead... I don't know if I can build a floor over a... Great, like that. Building present. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll disassemble that. Then we'll build a floor over these stairs. And then we will dig. I want to dig right on to here. Yeah, do or no. Do that. And then we can even do we'll do it like this. Build a stairwell that goes down but doesn't punch through the 
round. And then we'll just channel right there. Because the magma can come down the stairs, no problem. And we can control this flow with that great gate. So if we can close this off, then we'll be fine. We'll do it that way. I will get you. I will get you all. Look at this. Glorious. People are coming down here. I kind of wish they wouldn't, but they're being fine, so maybe that's... What are you doing? Why are you here? I think they're getting, I think they're getting the corpses. Which is generally okay. What's all this one? all that please um, but I do want to we want to build these walls that's what I want to do I was holding off on building this wall for a long time because it meant crossing over that water that was filled with cavefish people so now that we can actually get over there and then same deal over here I think I just want to We just want to do that. And I can do... Dig order to just get rid of... Those. Right? Kind of. I assume... Hmm, can we just chop these? I assume they need to... Oh, someone's been possessed. I assume they need to get to the trunk to actually chop the tree, but I don't actually know that. If I... Yeah. Uh, well, I'll designate that and see what happens. has been possessed. Which if you're if you're unfamiliar with that, this is a strange mood. Um, this is just a random thing that can happen to random dwarves at random times, and basically means this dwarf has been inspired by unknown forces in this case. Uh, some some entity, unnamed entity, has possessed this dwarf go make something special. So he's gonna go claim... looks like a stone worker's workshop, no. He's grabbing a rock, okay. Did he already claim? He did claim. He, so the first thing they do is claim a workshop. So you can see that like these I could give orders, this one I can't tell anyone to use this workshop at all because friend here is now using it. <laughs> um, so now that he has claimed a workshop, he is going to go and grab materials until he is satisfied. And there is some list of materials that he's wanting. Um, and if he if he isn't able to get all of his stuff, then we'll get to see what he's missing. Um, but in theory, he has access to everything here. In theory, he has access to everything he could possibly want because we have everything here. Um, in theory, there's been some some corner cases, but 
We'll keep an eye on him. Um, but so long as he keeps going and keeps claiming things, he'll eventually get all the things that he wants, and then he will begin a mysterious construction. He's still going. Um, I got a rock, a rock, and some dog bones so far. Um, and then he'll just make something, an artifact, something very special, in theory. Um, just grab some wood, I guess. Okay, still gone. And it's kind of random how many things they want, even, so who knows how much stuff he's going to go grab. Damn, stone. Always with the damn stone. Um, okay, so we successfully removed the bars, which means now... Please make a floor here. Confirm. Hopefully they can actually do that. Hmm... You can't see them from there. There's no line of sight. Ugh. Come on. They don't like doing things when they can see enemies. Item blocking site. Well, this can go away. So someone's coming to grab it. Okay. Uh, some cloth. Cool. Still, still going for more. Um, but yeah, here's our. This is our workshop floor. Um, you can see there's a lot of stuff happening here. Um, wood furnace. Ooh, wood furnaces. Uh, some soap making. This is where we do jeweler stuff. This is... Um, I don't even went through our stuff. Um, but we're, we're working on making porcelain statues and encrusting them with jewels and placing them everywhere. For, because I want to. Um, yeah, encrust furniture with gems. So there's a porcelain statue of a blood gnat. The... Item is an image of a blood gnat in porcelain by Urist Logum Logumtath. And it menaces with spikes of red diamond because someone encrusted it with red diamond and made it worth a lot, probably. 1400, that's pretty good. Um, and this is, I never even did anything with this. This is a vermin catchers. We managed to catch a couple things. I don't know. Someone do that, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is for making siege weapons. These are craft dwarf, so uh, there's a whole bunch of output still in there because our stockpiles are all messed up. We have too much stuff. We have too much stuff. Uh, carpenter, mechanics, leather workers. This is all for clothing. Yeah, night, night. Have a good night. Um, I won't be going too much longer, top of the hour. But uh, thanks for thanks for coming by. Thanks for the raid. That was that was awfully awfully kind of you. Um, I'll I'll see you around. Um, and then food. This is all of our food stuff. And over here we have uh, our bird breeding program. Currently working on domesticating ravens because I want to. Um, and then these are all our bedrooms. stuff going on here you more more dog bone Please. okay meh. or come on oh the one got made okay so that's a good sign okay 
interrupted by cavefish spearman. Yeah, okay. Oh, because they wanted to use that block. That was going on. They need to grab a different block to build the floor because the existing block is too close to the cavefish people. for me. Oh, see now? Yeah, someone's here taming a small animal. Oh, yeah, I guess that's fair. Some of these worked. And then these are still working on. Yeah, there we go. Look at all this. Magma has met the other obsidian. Slowly filling in here. And... Slowly, slowly. There will be nowhere to hide. Duke wants us to make some things. Quivers, of course. Or it's like these, the trees block the magma movement. It's very strange. I kind of wish they had all just burned down, but what are you going to do? are here to trade. Hooray! I haven't been training trading with the elves because I don't have much that I want right now. Um, but I could give them a bunch of old clothing. How many are even in here? I don't know how many are in here because I can't see them all. I assume there's a bunch in here. Cancel. Then we will forbid this block in particular. Nobody come down here. Then make floor. Using a different one, I guess. Figure it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, we're paused. What do you got now? Iron bars. Wow. Okay. Um. Of course, none of that's being dug. Oh, that's right. We were digging exploratory tunnels, except that's not happening either. My miners are slacking. The carpenter with all of the armor and planting seeds. My digging jobs are not being completed. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people working on mining, in theory. Well, we still have things. We don't have anyone being a hunter right now, but that's fine. We have so much food.
Uh, or fish or dwarves. We don't we don't need fish. Plant gathers. Everybody plant gathers. Everybody smooths. Those people do engraving. Everybody hauls. Everyone is an orderly, and then those people are weaponsmiths. Legendary armorsmith. Very cool. So yeah, I don't know why people aren't digging. Construct, drink, dump, eat, smelt, grab equipment. Smoothing walls. I guess I did give them a lot of smooth wall tasks at the same time. Weave yarn and then military stuff. I guess that's fair. We do have a fair bit of manpower tied up into squad training. It is ultimately what I want, and it's fine, but it means fewer people are here to mine. Um, let's check on our gear situation. Oh, come on. Still all missing pants. Um, yeah, still iron mail shirt, iron helm. Iron breastplate, iron, yeah. We need more we need more steel. I want to send some squads out onto the, the world map. Um Oh yeah, the world map. So the whole world exists. Um we only have to direct control as much control as we have. We only have influence over our actual our site. Um we're here. We are we are the we're our fortress is called Elder Ring. Uh, by the way, and I didn't do that on purpose. That was the randomly generated name for this <laughs> fortress. Um, but our, our capital of Elder Ring, and then all of these are goblin pits. And then these are elves, and then the blue squares over here is the rest of our dwarven civilization. Um, you can see we're kind of on the frontier over here with a whole bunch of goblins. So I'm working on training up some squads so that we can send them out to those goblin pits. And they can start uh, making them not be goblin pits anymore, is the main idea. Um, okay, that got done. And then, so this has been done. You can see I've been building a bunch of walls around here. People are still coming down here for stuff, and I don't really know why. Mine, I guess. I'm also tempted to station a couple squads down here and try to take up these floors and deal with whatever's left in there. All this. Of course, these Awkward trees, so everything's gonna have to come through here and then come back around. It's annoying. Wonder how many are we up to? Burn twenty-three. Probably killed some and had some more come. This is also a, this is a, a rather convenient way to deal with enemies in general, just turning them into either just bathing them in lava straight up or, or turning them into obsidian like this, because like now we don't have to deal with their corpse, all the gear that they're leaving behind, like you can see all this junk. These steel spears, steel shields, junk. Not all this junk. The steel stuff is kind of nice because we can melt it down and, and make new stuff out of it. But it takes time for doors to like go down there and grab the thing and take it back up. It just it's a mess. A mess. This is one of our garbage pits. You can see all. Look at all these, all of these cavefish people. These are the ones that didn't die in the obsidian. These are the ones I killed manually. And then there's also. Uh, where's the other one? 
down here. Yeah, look at all that. Even more. This one's fall. The little, the little trash icon. I've told them to dump these, which means, in this case, means bringing it to here because I have some magma here. So that's my little trash incinerator. But there's like so much to do right now that just bringing this stuff over here is not being done. Elven diplomat, hooray. I don't care. Grouchy when caught in the rain. More damp stone, of course. Okay, well the one thing got done do that. Yeah, this all filled up to there. Perfect. I'm just dumping here. Of course, when it spreads out this much, it's harder for it to, like, spread more. So it's... That's why this has taken so long. I could have just done it once in the middle and finished it, then that would have been great, but I have to, like, a bunch of different places. How are there still 300? <laughs> they're all, they're all over here now, aren't they? not even I can't even fit it on the screen anymore look at this too many my fort is slow because of you but once it's not because of me oh Tobol has begun a mysterious construction excellent yeah Tobol uh, has been claimed by the recruit. Tobol keeps muttering. So now El Elbim Elbim Gukil. That's gonna be the name of the artifact that he's creating. Look all the stuff he grabbed. Uh, some rocks, dog bone, wood, big tail cloth, iron bars, dog leather, copper bars. All that's gonna come together into a fancy construction. For it to sit in a museum area to then be potentially stolen by some other random person on who wants to come and steal our stuff. Um, so merchants are unloading, so if we were going to trade with them, it would happen here. I don't know that I care to, but also, I mean, maybe we'll just can literally just give them some crates of uh, worn out clothing, <laughs> which is what this is. Right? I don't think they get upset. That you don't want to trade wood to elves. They'll get upset if you try to trade wood. Um, but I don't think the rest of the stuff counts. And even if it did, I don't really care about upsetting the elves at this point. This is all. Or... We'll go for it. <laughs> um, not this. We'll just do a, a couple crates. A couple crates of junk. Oh, and then we need our, our broker. We need to request a broker to show up to the trading post. Hmm, <laughs> it's just all full of junk. Uh, we're making more statues. Image of dwarves in porcelain. Cool. Um, and we're dyeing thread. We're making clothes. It's the reason why we have so many worn out clothings, because clothing wears out on its own while it's being worn. You have to constantly keep making new clothing items. But like they'll look at all this junk, it's just all sitting there. 
Tobol here. And see, wow, it's actually pretty good. Um, like the stuff that's just in parentheses, I guess, is is just normal stuff. Um, it's just a sock. But the X is a wear indicator. So little X means that it's taken 25% of its durability, and then a big X means 50, and then like two big X's means 75%. And like his stuff isn't too worn out right now. It can be they can be wearing complete tatters if you don't pay attention to it. Um, yeah, here's a big X, so 50% on the hood. Um, and if they aren't, I've been fine. If they aren't able to cover themselves, like if, if they're not able to wear pants that aren't completely worn out, they'll start get really, starting to get really grumpy. Um, so you have to constantly be making new clothing. So that's what's going on here. No, show me the, yeah, make yarn robe. So we're... Yeah, geez. Does this not all have a place to go? That all can go here. Why is that not... Other output is this one. Having a bunch of, like, stuff in the workshop makes the workshop slower. Uh, clearly, I don't have enough. I don't have enough dwarf power to like keep everything everything clean and tidy. Uh, I don't know why these got turned on. I don't actually care. Uh, where am I looking for this? No, other way around. That's all the smoothing. We, all this, all the, these are the places where I've told them to smooth the wall. You can see all the places that are already smooth, but there's a lot of it. Um, okay, so this got dug down. Cool. Um, and this is all aquifer, so that means we need to smooth that too. Hobol Recruit has created Albemgukil, a microcline kern. He offers it to the contingent seals, which is us. Um, so now we can look at it. Here's all of our stuff. Wade lurches is the English translation of that. It's a microcline kern, which is like a it's a millstone. Artifact grade mill. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, look, the child is tantruming again. Uh, let's see. Decorated with pigtail, encircled with bands of cushion, microcline, cabochons, and iron. Object menaces with spikes of dog bone, tower cap, dog leather, and copper. On the item is an image of a beige monster in Gabbro. I don't know what a beige monster is. That's weird. Surely that's not concerning. On the item is an image of Aesop Noble Steels, the dwarf, and Moon Snails in Dogbone. Aesop Noble Steels is surrounded by the Moon Snails. So, in all likelihood, Aesop either really likes Moon Snails or does not like Moon Snails. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, okay, so then I'm going to come over into our little artifact area, and I'm going to display I'm gonna click and wait a second because it's gonna pull up the whole list. Yeah. Um, we can go down to our our kerns. I don't kerns. Ooh. Now we'll get placed on a pedestal. We probably need more pedestals too. Uh, display. Yeah, we'll just. We need to make some more. That's fine, though. These don't get made that often. You can see how many we have here. Cool. Um, and then we have a 
diplomacy screen because the elf diplomat wants to talk to us and they are going to ask us to not chop down trees, which is their thing. Um, I've been, I've been saying okay, because they, they want us to not chop down more than 46 trees in a year, which is a lot of trees. If we need more trees than what they would allow us, then I would say screw it, they can be upset, it's fine. Uh, but since we don't need that many trees, then I'll just be like, okay, nah, sure, you convinced me, let's be friends. Duke wants us to make more things, <laughs> more quivers. We have so many quivers. Specifically because the Duke keeps requesting them over and over and over again. Uh, look at all the magma. Very happy. Okay. We're getting there uh, very slowly, very slowly. Really don't want to have to make a new shoot here. It'd be silly. It's like, what if I had to? But ugh. Oh, oh, was that a orphan child? See, I wasn't watching. Orphan child grabs the farmer by the head. Orphan child punches the farmer in the lower body with his left hand. Orphan child punches the farmer in the lower body. Ligament has been bruised. Orphan child grabs the farmer by the thumb. Orphan child punches the farmer in the right lower arm. Ligament has been torn. Force twists the shoulder. Tendon in the upper spine has been bruised. Orphan child punches the farmer in the head. Orphan child punches the farmer in the head. An otter has been opened. Farmer is dead. And that was like in a workshop. What was he? That was armor in the Tanner's workshop. That person was working and you killed them. <laughs> Stop it. That's Erish. Erish is 14. Once Erish is an adult, I will be able to punish him properly. I can full on send him away from our fortress once he's an adult. But before then, I can't really do much. Uh, kills. 11 notable kills. One of them's a dog, so 10 citizens. And the, the first one, when was... No, oh, already... Someone else has already taken up the tan hide job. Um, the, I don't even know, where did he, where'd he go? Uh, last I looked, he wasn't very good at much. Erish. Uh, skilled fighter, okay, skilled strider. Skilled fighter, skilled striker, competent thrower, competent archer, novice wrestler. Well, I guess that's a thing. But, like, he's so grumpy and haggard. This is his emotional state, I guess. Like... Do I give him a sword? Do I give him an axe? Do I give him armor? Do I send him away? You find something humorous in everything, no matter how serious or inappropriate, after wearing old clothing in 114. Never acts without prolonged deliberation, even, his own, even to his own detriment and the harm of those around him. 
in a constant state of internal rage after experiencing trauma in 114. It is currently 119 for reference. Tends to consider what others think of him, a turnaround after wearing tattered clothing. You can see how much their clothing situation factors into their emotional state. Tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions, generally quite confident in his abilities while undertaking specific ventures, has a noticeable lack of perseverance, tends to not reveal personal information. Grateful when others help him out but and tries to return the favor. Yeah. Maybe he gets put into a squad that goes to fight the goblins. Should I just make a I should make a tantrum squad. I should make a squad that's only the grumpiest people. Two of them are already in a squad. Being in a squad is like a real fast way to make them grumpy anyway. Um Yeah. Spar Metril, and then the child. Yes. Well, we will have much more glory if they aren't here. I mean, in the last, like, two or three streams, Erish has been the thing that has killed dwarves. <laughs> We dealt with all those cavefish people. The one kid. It's being a problem. Okay. Um. This is being smooth. That's fine. This all. That's all. Also. I don't want water leaking in here because the magma. And, yeah. It'll leave. I mean, I've only exiled like two or three other people, and it was for less. I exiled someone for killing the queen. There was a there was a human like axe master who was tantruming all over the place, and he was super lethal. Like he needed to go. Um, like that's kind of the only thing that'll get you kicked out of this fortress is being a menace. Okay. You are you are smoothing. Let's go ahead and dig this channel here. Okay. And this is all being smoothed. Cool. It's all smooth, right? There's a little bit of water there, but that'll that'll drain out. That's fine. I can also technically put a grate on top of this just in case something wants to learn to fly. Come up through here. Just make it out of iron. That's fine. I've never seen this many things on a single tile before. That's too many. Uh, I'm just checking to make sure I'm not missing anything in Porta and. Okay. Someone please do this. Working on the smoothing, at least. Oh, this also needs to be... It needs to be smooth, too. So this is an aquifer. 
aquifers are stupid. <laughs> Annoying. Actually, that's not necessary. That's not aquifer. our magma here doing good in there look at all this cool this probably won't so i guess this is all locked in that won't get fine this is getting close little pools like this i think i can like i'll i'll dig out i'll dig out the obsidian the obsidian is worth stuff on its own that's kind of a nice byproduct of all this getting all this obsidian um, but if I, like, dig all this out and, and let this kind of spill out onto the floor, then it'll just evaporate and not be a pool anymore. And then we can build a wall here. <laughs> all of this. You can see they're getting nervous. How do you feel about this? <laughs> of course, they're going to hide under these trees. Someone's coming. Trying to click. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, migrants. Hooray. See, migrants have arrived despite the danger. See, that's even like less ominous warning than previous. I the last two waves have said um, some migrants have arrived despite knowing it may be their tomb, something to that effect. Um, but look, got a leather worker. There's a people migrating to our fortress on their own free will. A thresher. Okay. Woodcutter. Where are you? Oh, where'd you go? Fishery worker, okay. Farmer, metal crafter. Metal crafters are nice. We got adequate metal crafter, okay. A yak. Water buffalo. We haven't had water buffaloes yet. Cool. I don't think we have a breeding pair, so we have a water buffalo. <laughs> That's fine. Was it just the three dwarves? Was that the entire migration wave? They can be kind of small sometimes. Oh, the water buffalo? Yeah, that would be unfortunate. How do you feel about fish? It's a calf, even. It's, not, it's a one-year-old water buffalo. <laughs> More? Even more? What are we up to now? 322. So we've actually decreased, but like, uh, These are all right here. Yeah. Oh, it must have been because we, yeah, because we opened the thing, so we saw them. That's what happened. So these aren't new, we just saw them. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for that to be built. And then we can you fall in. Uh where'd it go? Did it? Uh, it went away, didn't it? Okay. Is there a corpse here? There is a corpse here. Kib's mangled corpse. Oh, I bet the water washed him in. wasn't a whole lot I could have done about that. So, I mean, he wasn't standing where he was digging. He was standing on the stairwell, 
I'm digging in the adjacent tile to punch a hole into the roof of the cave below. But he was standing in knee-deep water because it was filling in from the aquifer. So when he punched through and made the hole, the water he was standing in swept him into the hole. Which swept him down onto the fish filled with a hundred K fish people. And the predictable happened. Is there even a combat log here? That. Everyone got one punch in. Hey, fish woman spearman jumps out of the spearman's flight path. Where's where's our dwarf? He just got jumped on by everything. I the miner, there you are. I These combat logs are kind of color-coded, so this color is them doing stuff to us. Which it's... <laughs> These are all misses. Hilarious. And then this color is us doing things. Or no. Not that time. Miner slams into the cave fish spearman. Stabs the miner in the leg. Miner collapses and falls to the ground from overexertion. Spearman stabs the miner in the arm. In the hand. In the arm. Arm. God. Lower body. Leg. This is what they do. They just... They, they swarm and they stab. I'm sorry. Um... And we're not even going to be able to get that corpse back now. So I'm going to just preemptively carve a slab. <laughs> oh, I should probably place those other ones too. Um, there's a kid. Uh, this... What was this one, right? Kib, yeah, you. I'm sure you're gonna haunt me for that one. Sorry about that. Um, then we have those other slabs to place. And to Mechagos. And Solon. I don't think there's any more. Oh! We have two to Solon. Oh well. I'll just place them both. Um... Ease. Someone want to make that for me? Overcome by terror. with more magma next time. There's plenty more magma to go. But we're getting there. This should this should dry out. I need to wait for this to dry before I pump magma through here anyway. It'll just turn into obsidian and block everything and it's a mess. Okay. Well, that's fine. And then someone's gonna need to do that. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. All this, we're, we're basically done over here. And on this side. Very nearly on this side. Jeez. <laughs> the naked mole dogs. Still running around. Yeah, it's still, it's still making progress. I guess I'll keep it going. 
gonna be gonna be difficult for things to flow in through this little bottleneck here. I really wish these trees would just burn down. Even this one, this one's not in water. But it's still still alive. Let me that change anything. Not really. These did. Okay, so some of them burn. The ones that don't have... Or is it the, the fungi wood and not the tower caps? Oh, there's a fungi wood. I don't understand. Well, that's fine. I'll take care of some at least. Anyway, um, let's check on our throne room. Look at this. We're getting there. Oh, I'm so happy that I can do this without carving out the floor. Um, do floor. I don't know if I have more glass yet. Nope. I'll wait for more. Oh, and we're we're trading, aren't we? Uh, let's go over here. Boop. And our our broker is here. Now we can trade. Now, I forget what the yellow means. Um, I know that I can't trade them the wooden bin. They'll be upset about that. But I can do... Let's do that. Yeah, okay. So that's everything in the bin, but not the bin. I think that'll be fine. We'll find out. And then what? they don't even have like sand, do they? Candy clay. Beaches. Just is that all they have? Yeah, here. So I'm just gonna like literally. Why can't I offer as gift? Why not? Uh, trade? I see you're still okay. That poor gentle creature. So yeah, they don't like they don't like stuff made out of creatures. Um, so I guess I can get rid of. They're just elves. Um, is this getting dug? That's still not getting dug. Is that? Oh, there's our ghost. Okay, merchants are leaving. Whatever. More raven hatchlings. Cool. Yeah, we only got three migrants. We only got enough migrants to replace what Parrish has killed. Lord. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute. That's fine. Every tile that gets swallowed up is one less tile to worry about in the future. This is all good. Should have like walled this off or something. Well, oh, and we even made progress here. Um, 
Clearly I can't chop these trees yet. I need to... I need to drain the water first, but we can do that by... Off the wall in that too, I guess. Just... How do I do this? Do like this. I want to channel out enough space down below so that the water can just kind of spill out and evaporate. And I get to reclaim some of my obsidian. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. If I do something cool with it. Like that. Okay. So that'll be fine. Who's, who's fighting? Oh, fighting with a trap. Oh, they're coming in. They have become... They have become agitated. So we have traps here. We have weapon traps and some cage traps, so... Not immediately terrible, but definitely want to keep an eye on it. Um, oh, there's also those things that I should put in our pasture. Doop do. Things with a migrant wave. Yeah, water buffalo, yak calf. All of our ravens. Bull calf. That's a lot of ravens. And there's our squad. Right on time. Wow. Prompt response for once. Dead. 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 Cool. We can take four of them, just not 400. Set the cage trapped. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna leave them stationed there for the moment. Because who else? Who knows what else is sneaking around? Aside from everything. Um, oh, and they're not gonna be able to build that, are they? Yeah. I don't like that. Interrupted by cavefish woman spearmen. So just the fact that it's impossible for them to get up into that shaft does not mean that the dwarves are okay with standing here and building something. The fact that they can see down and see them means they're just going to freak out and leave, so we can't actually build a build something there now that it's open, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's... I think we're going to call it here making very good progress on our magma situation, on our cave fish, cave fish situation. We've been doing that for quite a while now. That's several, <laughs> several streams. Um, but yeah, uh, this uh, store fortress, if, um, if any of you are still sticking around from, uh, from the raid, uh, hopefully you you've seen some cool things and learned some things. Um, I've been working on this fortress for quite a while, and I'm gonna keep working on it for even, even longer. Um, and eventually we're gonna be satisfied with what we've done with this fortress, and we're gonna make a new fortress in the same world, and, and just keep doing new and weird things. There's like, there's a whole Steam Workshop full of things I haven't even touched with this game yet. We can, there's so many things we can do still. Um, so we will be returning to this fortress on Monday. Um, so come back if you want to see more of that, um, or check out the VODs on YouTube, um, or come back on Saturday, and I will be continuing my blind playthrough of Sekiro, which has been very fun. 
Uh, I just found an exploding Tengu at the very end of the last stream. That was cool. Um, so yeah, uh, come by Saturday or Monday or later or don't. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, and you and yeah, this is what we're doing. So come by if you want to see more. Stay kind. <laughs> <laughs>